The Boston Marathon inspires non-runners to get up and give running a try. But for some, finding places to run is not easy. In my neighborhood, it, it wasn't really that friendly for, for running. That's not what we do here. Chris Vasquez Roman lives in Dorchester. He says the sport never felt like something he could do. It's more like if you're running, there's something bad going on around here. People don't expect you to run here. They look at you weird or funny. And also, there's been times when I'm running and someone like tries to protect themselves, a pedestrian, um, and it's because they're thinking negatively. Sydney Baptista felt the same way. He would take the train from Dorchester to Newbury Street to run comfortably. Kids in this neighborhood, they don't grow up looking and seeing kid, people running, and so it's not normal to them. And then when, when, when they watch TV and watch runners, the people of color who are running are, are typically Kenyans and, and Ethiopians, and they're looking at them as like Africans and not necessarily black people in America. And so the more we normalize it by running in our neighborhoods, running in our streets, introducing running to, to kids at a younger age, the more chance it has to have a future in, in, uh, in our neighborhood. So we hope to do that. In 2017, Baptista founded Pioneers Run Crew, a group dedicated to normalizing running in communities of color. They meet twice a week and help train anyone who is interested. We've helped people lose weight. We've helped people find themselves through running. I've helped my identity as a runner. There's definitely change that's, that's going on and more change to come, for sure. Vasquez Roman is preparing for his first Boston Marathon with the help of pioneers. Running definitely has helped me grow in every aspect of my life. Every time I reach a new milestone in running, I also meet a new milestone in my personal life. I see a lot of people aspire to be great and, and just do better, um, so it's contagious. His training began in April, a journey that brings him both joyous feelings and a little nervous energy. I'm all over the place. Um, nothing negative, but uh, definitely uh, more excited that it's, com it's coming, it's happening for sure. Sydney tells us all are welcome to join Pioneer's Run Crew. And this year, in honor of the 125th running of the Boston Marathon, the BAA is awarding $125,000 to groups working to increase access to running for communities of color. Pioneer's Run Crew is one of those groups.